Hey guys, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch, and today we're going to do a little resin artwork. I thought it might be fun to experiment with resin a little bit and try to do a little artwork with it. We're going to go for a tropical fish theme. Today we're going to try a little bit of fun art. I've not tried this before, but I thought of it and I thought it might be fun. I just have a canvas panel. It's 8 by 10 I've not primed it. I haven't done anything to it. And I'm just going to draw a fish on here. So you can freehand it on here or you can print out like a royalty free image and trace it on here. That's what I'm going to do. And I want the fish going this way. So I'm just using the outline of the fish, the details of it I don't care about at the moment. So I'm going to find my placement and I'm just going to trace it. If you're freehand drawing it, don't stress out too much. If you have to do it over, maybe erase things and stuff like that, everything will be covered up eventually. So don't worry about if you make a mistake. If you don't trace something properly, don't even worry about that. So there's our fish. I'll put the eye here. Cut that off here, roughly. So there's the details that we want. And I'm going to add some scales, but not the level of detail that they have here. I'm going to do some bigger scales. Now what I'm going to use is this dimensional fabric paint. And I'm using red, not because it's red, just because I had a lot of red. And I thought this might be the best one to use since I have so much of it. And it comes with a pretty pointy spout. And all I'm going to do is outline the fish. And the main thing I'm trying to do is kind of stay on the lines for the outline. It's not going to be perfect and you're going to lose some details, which is fine, but you want to make sure that you get the lines to touch each other. Now once you have that on there, you want to let it dry. But before I do that, I want to add some, some wisps of seaweed on here. completely completely dry. Our fish is dried and now what I'm going to do is take it outside and just do a white spray paint over the whole thing. And if you wanted the red um, you can leave it. It is still raised hopefully enough to accomplish what we're going to try to accomplish. You just want to make sure that this is raised enough that it can take a little bit of resin in there and kind of keep it in its space. Our fish is dry. Now I'm going to take some ink and run it over just the raised areas, just like this, just to give it a little bit of definition. And this is just an, an ink pad. And yes, you could have just used some black paint over it, but I didn't have any. 
could have done that instead. I thought this would be kind of a fun way to do it. So here we are and we have some dark smudges here. Don't worry about that. I'm going to take a little alcohol ink and blue and I have it on a brush. I'm just going to kind of go over it a little bit. Hopefully it'll end up giving us a little bit of depth. It'll blend some of the dark in. Now I'm going to go mix my resin. I'm going to do about two ounces and we'll see how far that gets us. Okay, I've mixed my resins and I'm going to start with the blue. The blue is going to be the background and I'm going to just pour resin all over it. Then I'll use my stir stick to kind of move it around all the way to the edge. So wherever there's water, there should be blue. And then I'm going to mix some green. And I have two different greens and I'm going to kind of alternate them. And you can mix them too. So I have those two colors on. I'm going to take my lighter and you can take a torch and just pop the bubbles. Go over, pop all of those bubbles. Now I'm going to mix some more resin and we're going to tackle the fish. I mixed more resin. I did another two ounces, which is probably more than I need. And I'm going to separate it into little cups. And we're going to have some fun with these colors on the fish. For the face, I have a little bit of red pigment mixed in and I'm going to add just a little bit of pink eyeshadow just to give it a little bit more of a solid feel. So I'm going to carefully add the red to the face. Now I'm going to mix some yellow pigment powder for the fins. areas with the lighter and now I have some pink purple and orange resin that I'm going to try to carefully drip into these little cavities and they're all glittered up and I'm sure they'll probably end up blending together a little bit which is okay now I'm going to pop the bubbles again and then we're going to let all of this sit a minimum of 12 hours before we come and handle it. And I'm going to add just a little bit of black in there. This is how it's turned out so far. And I like it. In fact, I like it a lot, but I would like a little bit more definition. It kind of looks like a watercolor to me, but I feel like some of the black outlines um, were maybe a little bit too lost. And the way to combat that is probably if you do a couple layers of the paint of the dimensional paint like two three maybe even four layers and it'll be deeper and you wouldn't have that problem but this is where we are and I'm gonna just take some black acrylic paint and I'm just going to outline everything give it a little definition the paint has dried on the fish and now I just have three ounces of resin and I'm gonna pour it right over I will take my stir stick, spread it out, make sure I get to the edges. So you want to let that sit a minimum of 12 hours before you handle it. And of course you want to take your lighter, pop the bubbles, and then you could just leave it be. The resin has cured on the fish painting. Let me turn it around for you. And here it is, looks pretty nice. That last layer makes a big difference. It looks like it's supposed to be a watercolory kind of a picture. And you could frame it or you can hang it on the wall just like this, or you could put it in like an acrylic stand and just have it sitting like on a dresser or something like that. So please let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Um, we've got some shimmer from the glitter and stuff like that also. And the resin obviously gives a nice watery effect. It's perfect for summer or if you have kind of a beachy tropical theme going on at home. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like the fish artwork and I hope you give it a try. The possibilities are endless. You can have a lot of fun with it. 
And thank you guys so much for being here, for watching. I will definitely see you next time. Remember, life is too short not to shimmer. So grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye, guys.